Hello, I'm Nora Shabazi. I am the founder of EBLI, Evidence-Based Literacy Instruction, which is a system of research-aligned, effective, efficient uh, reading, writing, and spelling instruction uh, for students and teacher training for teachers of any age um, or grade level. And today, what I'm going to talk about in this blog is vocabulary, words, words, words. You know, vocabulary instruction, oftentimes we think, oh, a graphic organizer or five words of the week or day or that type of thing, which are all fine. But really, how I like to think of vocabulary instruction is something that it happens all day, every day. What from birth to death, really, for all of us to continuously expand our vocabulary. But how do we as adults and teachers and parents and everyone who, uh, you know, have children in our lives or any, you know, all the people in our lives, really, but especially children that we're wanting to teach them and help them, you know, grow their vocabulary. How do we go about doing that? So this blog and then the companion webinar are going to both talk about that and actually show you how to do it. And some examples I think of, of like my little grandchildren that I talk about in the blog that are between the ages of one and three, um, little co baby Colleen, she, we just went and saw Bluey on stage, pretty amazing. And she was, she said, Gaga, that was amazing. She's two. Now she could have said that was fun or that was cool or whatever, but she loves using those big words and really everyone, it feels good to use vocabulary words and words in our, when, when we're speaking and all that are, you know, a little more robust and kind of, kind of interesting. Then I had Arlo, who was two at the time, he just turned three, my grandson, who took his little boat out of the bathtub and set it, you know, on the carpet and said, don't worry, Gaga, I know it's wet, but that water will evaporate. No problem using the word evaporate. So what I do and what their parents do too is talk a lot with higher level vocabulary. Instead of saying good, we say fantastic or spectacular, all those types of things. So using vocabulary around your kids um, and also other ways that we can have that are just everyday, all day things to pick up you know, that, that vocabulary. And it continues on as you're older. I had a, a friend... Um, after college, we went to different colleges, and she said she and her roommates, every day they would open up the dictionary and pick a word, and they would use some crazy word that really none of them had known until they looked it up in the dictionary, and then they would just use that word and kind of spark, sprinkle it into their um, conversations um, at, you know, during during the day, and then they'd come back and, and have stories about how people reacted or what they thought. I think of my daughter, Kelly, when she was seven. She's at gymnastics and she was pretty precocious. She did, she was kind of at a higher level of gymnastics. So she was with a lot of older kids. So she said to this preteen girl um, who said to her something like, I don't know what she was going to do, five flips in a row or something like that. And Kelly's like, are you being facetious? And the girl's like, I don't know. I don't know what facetious means. So then Kelly got to teach her that. But truly our speaking vocabulary, even college educated adults is often much lower than what we read in um preschool books, definitely children books. So we want to up our vocabulary to be teaching those kids all day, every day. And um, just learning more and thinking more. Use the resources in this blog. Um, there's all kinds of great stuff in here um, and great links with stuff that you can use and um, and benefit from for regardless of if you're pregnant, if you have preschoolers, if you have elementary kids, you have teens, young adults, doesn't matter. All kinds of ways to increase your vocabulary. So enjoy and thank you for reading and watching.